Okay, let's see what they brought to the store this week. Hmm. Fucking Tiger King. Am I the only one that didn't really enjoy that documentary at, like at all? Well, anyway, guys, welcome back to another wholesome day without a brand new sniper rifle in Modern Warfare. So as you guys know, I have a retail job. So one thing that comes with this retail job is that I have to work around, you know, just a bunch of people. And it's not the, the smartest people, I might add. Not, 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 not the co-workers that I work with or anything like that, but like the people that come in the store and actually buy stuff. And it just goes hand in hand with the, the, like the place I live. Like, like, trust me, I know a lot of people that would admit that the town I live in, you know, the town we all live in around here, like, that's, uh, that's good, dude. That's good. I will always say solos are always a camp fest. Like, just laying down in the building with a thermal, high intelligent player. But, like, you know how we're under quarantine right now? You know, everyone should be staying inside, washing their hands, you know, being safe and stuff like that. Well, apparently, every single person in my town that I live in thinks it's a good idea to come to the place that I work and just buy things. Like, because they have nothing better to do. They're not working. Most of them are just not working right now. They're on leave or, you know, they're, you know, laid off or whatever just because of, you know, COVID. And I get, you know, some people actually do come in and they actually do need stuff. But if you're coming in to buy freaking, like, if you're coming in to buy, like, seeds for your garden, no, just don't come in. Like, why? You're putting everybody at a health risk, you know, coming in. And you're putting yourself at a health risk to coming in more than anybody because most of the people that actually come into the store are like over 60 and then you want to sit there and complain when I don't like you know have a mask on or like some people don't have a mask on and yet here you are coming into a store you know ready to buy you know some brand new seeds for your garden because you're gonna have a lovely garden this spring we know there's a pandemic going around I honestly think it's just because like the older generation like the really really older generation aren't really in tune with like the internet or like you know getting in the loop of some things so they just don't understand how bad a situation really is they just see like they just hear what they see on fox news and they're like oh you know that's right like when i tell you like every single day since quarantine has started we have had like 200 plus people in the store at all times pretty much during the day like yeah we would have those numbers like on the weekends and stuff like that when nobody worked but since nobody is working as of now like they just come in every single day and it's not even like it's not even really different people like yeah i see different people in there sometimes but most of the time i'm just seeing the same person come in over and over and over again and sometimes they don't even just buy anything they just sit there come in look around and leave like you're gonna put yourself and everybody else at a risk for that and then you get the people that think that COVID's not even real. Like, I'm I'm not even exaggerating, dude. Like, I've had older people come in and be like, you think you, you believe in this corona stuff? I swear, it's every single time I try to talk that someone just comes up and tries to, like, shoot me from the back. Thank God that dude had the trashiest aim I've ever seen in my life. But like I was saying, yeah, some of them just don't believe it. And it's because of where I live, okay? It's not, it's not, like, no secret or anything like that. I live in, like, you know, the deep south. I live in Alabama. Like, yeah, there are definitely, like, a lot of not smart individuals down here. We can definitely say that. And trust me, I'll be the first to admit it. Because I don't like living here more than, you know, anybody else that I know. I don't like living here just because of how, like, closed-minded people are you know there's definitely like racial you know problems down here that i just don't agree with so i have to you know listen to that all the time you know it's an everyday thing i've just gotten so used to it at this point you know hearing stupid things come out of people's mouths that i just don't pay attention to it anymore i don't understand that i don't understand that logic at all like Okay, cool. I literally spend so much time trying to get that man and then it just has a gold foul. Cool. I just honestly don't know how to play solos. Like solos is so weird to play. Ah, I know what it is. He had a building. You have to have building control to win. That's how they designed this game. And some of my coworkers actually watch my videos and they would definitely agree with me that it's it's actually a problem how many people come in our store. Like it's a it is such a problem that like we have to monitor the doors to let like a certain amount of people in because if we didn't monitor everybody would just come in and it wouldn't matter the funniest part about like the whole shit though that goes on in my store is that like the older people that come in they'll and that do know about you know the corona and they do believe about it and everything like that they'll complain about it they'll be like i'll tell you it's all these daggum like kids going around you know getting you know getting out you know you know fucking all the time and shit like that and i'm just like dude i swear to god older people will take any like chance they have to blame anything on younger people it's just a fact like i think it's time to blow this thing get everybody to stuff together okay three two let's go oh 
Oh yeah, top tier, top tier. Do all that work. I already have three kills. And one thing that kills me though, man, is that my town, like my county, not my town, but like my county that I live in. Cause you know, in the South we have counties, you know. So I know other states have something different or whatever, but in my state we have counties. The neighboring counties that we have, we have the highest rate of the virus. Like we have the, you know, the most cases. So we have the most cases, right? Cause you know, my town is just actually utter like stupid like my county is like mate we have a reputation in my county for being like the dumbest people there you know there's a stigma to whatever county i live in I just know my county is very very like known to be you know not the smartest there is actually a guy up here do you see this <laughs> just falls down there was a guy camping up here. That's crazy, dude. I knew I heard something. Why? What's the point, man? So imagine this, okay? You live in a county that's literally filled with the virus. It is absolutely, like, covered in it. But you, you know, you, you're special. You know, you're special. You still have to get, you know, some wood for your brand new deck you're building. It's even important, right? Definitely. Okay, on that one, I definitely just got outplayed. I just got fucked. Like, I had to jump on him. I had everything. I don't have any excuses for that one. I just got, I just got fucked. But anyway, moral of the story. If I get COVID, it's because my town is stupid. See ya.